Hello everyone, I am Anas Ali here and we are going to solve this problem of physics. This problem was asked in the examination of NEET in 2013. Let's see the problem. The problem is two pith balls carrying equal charges are suspended from a common point by strings of equal length. The equilibrium separation between them is R. Now the strings are rigidly clamped at half the height, the equilibrium separation between the balls now become. In this question, there are two balls that carry equal and like charge are suspended by strings of equal length of equal length at a common point of a rigid base. Let's see here. Suppose this is a rigid base. At this point A, these two balls are suspended. Suspended. Suppose the length of the string is Y. Since both the balls carry like charge, so they repel each other. But after getting a particular separation, they stop they stop but why still electrostatic force is working on these two balls but they stop first let discuss here when these two balls are suspended they repel we know but when this ball and this ball is suspended then a force of tension comes into play in in these two strings that always tries to pull up this ball and this ball the direction of this force is away the ball if At equilibrium condition this angle is theta this angle is theta then this is also theta alternate angles let me resolve this T into rectangular components this is T and this is theta then this is T cos theta horizontal component and this is T sin theta Again, see here, consider this ball. This ball is under the influence of three forces. But first of all, we discuss only about two. This ball is repelled, is repelled due to force of repulsion of this ball in this direction. And T sin theta is working in this direction. These two forces are anti-parallel. When these two forces becomes equal, this ball stays here. The same happens with this ball. This angle is theta and this is T. This is, this is theta. This is theta. Then this is T cos theta and this is T sin theta. When now on this ball, this ball is repelled by this ball due to force of repulsion in this direction. And when and T sin theta is working on this ball in this direction, these two forces are anti parallel. At equilibrium condition, these two forces are become equal and cancel each other. So the both balls stay here. Now, again, electrostatic force, force of repulsion on this ball in this direction, and the weight of this ball is acting vertically downward let me make it these 
two forces here here and uh, this is the resultant of these two if this angle is theta then this is also theta this is also theta because ao these two this line and this line this this and this are parallel and this a a b is produced in the same way so this angle is theta then this is also theta let me mg mg weight of the ball let me use here triangle of factor add addition if this force is fe then this is also fe by using and this is the resultant of these two forces this angle is theta in this triangle tangent theta is tangent theta is tan theta equals to tan theta equals to hmm, perpendicular upon base fe upon mg mg or tangent theta equals to fe fe is electrostatic force between these two balls it is c q into q q into q gives q square upon r square r square is the separation between these two balls at equilibrium condition upon mg but again in this triangle let's see here this is why this is this total is r so this is r by 2 r by 2 r by 2 tangent theta equals to uh, suppose this equation is 1 tangent theta equals to r by 2 upon perpendicular upon base upon y it is tangent theta equals to uh, r upon 2y equation number second from these two equations we get from these two equation number one equation number one and equation number two we get um, c q square c q square upon r square upon m g equals to r upon 2 y upon 2 y let me solve this um, c q square into mg 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 comes in the multiply of this cq square upon into 2y 2y equals to r cube y equals to 1 upon 2 1 upon 2 c q square mg into r cube let's see here in this equation 2 is constant c is coulomb constant charge of the balls is constant mass of the ball is constant g is also gravitational constant this whole expression is constant so i write it here y equals to k r cube k r cube it means y directly proportional to r cube but in this question further it is asked now the strings are rigidly clamped at half the height the equilibrium separation between the balls now become let's see here uh, let's see here now the strings are rigidly clamped at half the height at half the height it means height is made y by 2 suppose at that situation the equilibrium separation is r dash r dash now this now form this third equation 
in place of y i can put y by 2 equals to k r dash cube equation fourth y equals to k r cube putting the value of y putting the value of y in this equation k r cube upon 2 equals to k r dash cube k k cancel out and r dash cube equals to 1 upon 2 r cube r dash equals to equals to 1 upon cube root 2 into r and options are given to us the first is 2r by 3, the second is 1 upon root 2 is square, the third is r upon cube root 2. Hence, the third option is correct. In the next video, we will discuss about another numericals.